bickering over breakfast. Democrats snub Governor Hogan's invitation to a morning budget briefing. And the brouhaha spilled onto the Senate floor. For whatever reason this year, the governor chose to brief certain people and then tell the public was in the budget and then invite the presiding officers the day after he tells the public. I just want to say I was a little disappointed I didn't see you there and, and the others that were invited. You know, the press conference that the governor had yesterday was more of a 30,000-foot view of the budget. So. Sir, you're my friend, but when you're not Sean Spicer, it's impossible to defend the in indefensible. Why is that in indefensible? It's the budget's introduced the same time every year. The governor has the breakfast at the same time every year. Prior to announcing the budget, he has the, he has the breakfast and he has Democrats as well as Republicans. He does not have five white men at the breakfast when he explains the budget. He has a diverse group. This is the Senate of Maryland. The governor's office issued a statement that reads in part, Our team stands ready to brief legislative leaders on the governor's budget any time. We look forward to working with legislators on both sides of the aisle as the budget process moves forward. The governor's budget, as introduced, provides additional funding to Baltimore City. $11.1 million more is allotted for education. $13 million total in grants for police, fire, and the state's attorney's office. $5.6 million in grants for transportation in part to offset the cost of paratransit services. Back to the breakfast snow. The governor's press office told the AP, complaints about invites are exactly the type of silliness that Marylanders are sick of. It's like crying over cracked eggs. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.